Hey guys, so earlier today, I finally went and saw the remake of It. Uh, the much bodyhood, uh, much hyped um, remake of It. Um, but before I get into that review, I do want to say a couple things. One, um, this is just personal, and it's almost kind of like a PSA. Um, I want to send my uh, thoughts and prayers, my heart out to Florida, Texas, any place that's being affected by the hurricanes right now, I recommend anybody who watches these videos, do do yourself a favor, be charitable, go donate. I donated even fucking 10 bucks. Um, it's 10 bucks, people. You can do it on uh, text, uh, I think it was Harvey, to 90999. Uh, help people out. To, uh, you know, it goes to the Red Cross. Uh, it's a good cause. It's you know, it's terrible what's going on over in Texas now, Florida, with all that shit going on. Um, so people be uh, good to each other and uh, you know donate. Uh, second off, um, I have a big announcement I want to make. So I've been keeping this under wraps for a couple weeks because uh, I wasn't sure whether this was going to work or not, but I have officially signed up for a thing called Movie Pass, which is a thing where you pay 10 bucks a month to, and with this 10 bucks a month that you pay, you get to see an unlimited amount of movies, you as many as movies you want in a theater for, for months. Like, you can see as many movies you want in a month uh, if you just pay 10 bucks a month, uh, it's like an app or whatever. Um, it's kind of this revolutionary thing to the point. I was like, I, it's almost too hard and too good to be true. I was like, I don't know if this is going to be, you know, one of those things too good to be true, but I went and used it this, this, uh, afternoon to go see it and it fucking worked. So from this point forward, any movie you want me to review, I will fucking review. I'm even thinking about seeing every major release that comes to my theater uh, from this point forward. Because I can go see it for basically fucking free. <laughs> um, pretty much. Uh, if you want me to do that, let me know in the comments. I will fucking do that. Uh, I think the other big release this week was Home Again. I wasn't planning on seeing that, but fuck it. I'll see it. I'll review it. I'll pop up a review in the next couple days if you want me to. Um... But anyways, let's get into it. Um, I was one of the few people out there that wasn't exactly looking forward to this thing. Um, mainly because I, I know I'm in the minority when I say this. I was never that big of a fan of the original It in the first place. The miniseries. Um, it was something I watched when I was little and I thought, oh, that's pretty good. But as, you, as I've grown older... And I've seen it uh, a few times being older. I was like, yeah, this movie doesn't exactly hold up. And it does have good, good things about it. And I don't hate it. I was like, yeah, I'm not that big of a fan of it. And the trailers for this didn't look that great. I mean, it didn't, it looked, they didn't look bad. The movie didn't look bad for the trailers. It's just like, yeah, you know. Why does this need to happen? Although at the same time, it's like you know, I'm always for remaking things that are not exactly like perfect in the first place or classics. Why not try to do a new update on something that wasn't exactly a great film in the first place? So I was like, I, I was like, okay, uh, and like everybody, I've been hearing really good things about this uh, since the reviews started popping up. I've had a few buddies that went and saw it last night. That said really good things about it. So I was like, all right. I was like really hyped to go in to see this movie. And uh, yeah, as a person that never was never that big of a fan of the original, I will flat out tell you, I fucking love this movie. I was a pretty big fan of this movie. Uh, it was... I this, this is one of the few times I can think of where... I, I Somebody named me another time this has happened where... My opinion, this remake was a lot fucking better than the original. <laughs> and that's almost unheard of. I can't remember a time where a 
remake of a film like that's kind of considered a classic to some people uh, is better than the actual film that's based off of. I know this is based off a novel. Don't get me started. I know it's based off a Stephen King novel, but I'm talking about you know for the miniseries. Well, what does this movie like? This movie, first and foremost, like I said, it's been a while since I've seen the original. I might have to go back and original watch the original again. But um, the cast, the cast of this movie is fucking great. The kids in this movie were really great. Uh, they were all, they're all your kind of stereotypical kids that you see in these kinds of movies. It's like this movie was made for the eighties. It was like an 80s-esque movie like Goonies or Stand By Me, but if it featured a fucking killer clown. To the point that this movie is set in the 80s. To which, I'm pretty certain the only reason they did that was because of the popularity of Stranger Things. I'm pretty fucking sure. I know the original was set in the 50s. I originally thought going in that this was going to be set in the 50s. But no, I was like, to my surprise, I, like, I went in like... Until the pretty much the very moment that they said 1988, that I was like, I thought it was the 50s until I saw like posters of Beetlejuice and they're like, wait a minute, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, uh, in a kid's room and I'm like, what the hell? Uh, I'm pretty certain that like, and there's like all your stereotypical kid characters that you see in these kinds of films, where there's the smart ass. Uh, sh sh shit talker. You got the hypochondriac. You got the token black kid. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's a token black kid. He gives, he's given an origin story, but he is at the end of the day really a token black kid. Uh, black kid. Uh, the girl, the the all the boys kind of uh, ponder over. Um, I mean, yeah, I know this is like you know based off the original book, but it, like, it can't help but compare it to like, others 80s films, especially since this is set in the fucking 80s, and you know, the popularity of such things as like, Stranger Things and everything. Um, I thought the main kid, Bill, was really good. Uh, I still have a little issue. I, I forgot the main character's name was Bill in this movie. Of course, my name is Bill. And of course, he's got a stuttering problem. And but he is really goddamn good in this movie. Uh, and he was a really good child actor, um, and uh, he 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 had like some really goddamn good uh, scenes where he's you know grieving over the death of his brother Georgie, of course. Um, and you know, it's really touching. It's kind of cool to see. Uh, I like I said. This movie has like it is like like the Goonies and Stand by Me if it was rated R because there's a lot of foul language said by these kids. They're talking about fucking each other's moms and stuff like that. And they're giving each other shit like any kids normally do. Like I grew up on that shit. I mean, we all get my me and my friends all gave each other shit. I mean, um, Pennywise. Okay, man, this kills me to say this because I love Tim Curry. I do. I really love Tim Curry. He's one of my favorite actors out there. Um and I I part of me loves Tim Curry as Pennywise in the original. He was one of the only reasons why I love that fucking movie. Like it only it was the only entertaining part of that fucking miniseries was Tim Curry as Pennywise. But if I were to go by who is a better who's better at being fucking terrifying i gotta go with this pennywise <laughs> holy shit there's no like him goofing around and just doing useless shit like just standing there not taunting the kids and not really doing anything he just fucking straight up tries to murder them and at some point actually does i'll get in that in a second but it's like damn like this this Pennywise is fucking terrifying. Uh, Bill, Scar uh, Bill Skarsgård, I've never seen him in anything other than this. And, like, I'm like, man, I want to see this guy in more shit. 
Um, he's just very terrifying. Like his tone, and, like his facial expressions. There are some fucking still shots that you can take from this movie that are going to give you nightmares for weeks. Um, like him rolling, his eyes rolling in the back of his head, and like just god damn, I was like, ah, uh, I'm not afraid of clowns. But I was like, by the end of this movie, I was like, fuck clowns. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I was like, I I really dug it, this Pennywise, and I'll admit, this, as far as who was effective as far as being scary, which Tim Curry could be scary, but he was way too over the top and kind of fucking hilarious in a lot of that miniseries. This one, this clown is far from anything but terrifying. He's everything, he, he, like, there's... N no part of him that is really at all funny <laughs> at all he's just straight up terrifying um and it's like it's really good uh uh this movie also like with the miniseries you can tell like you watch back with the miniseries you can tell that they had a lot of limitations because this was a tv miniseries of the things that they could do well this movie has no you know qualms about doing anything like fucking murder straight up murdering children right and left like in this fucking thing the scene with georgie <laughs> uh i think it's got leaked out online already is you know if you're one of those people that was wondering what ha exactly happened to georgie at, in the original it you get to find out in pretty fucking graphic detail. It's not like very, it's not too gruesome, but it's gruesome enough that you're like, holy shit, that was a, that was a more effective scene than the original. Um, God damn, like that scene was really good. <laughs> that scene was really good. And it was kind of fucking terrifying. Uh, you also have fucking, for some reason, this is kind of getting a complaint. Like these bullies that. For some reason, uh, just like are straight up psychopaths. One of the, the leaders like has a mullet, and he has. There's like kind of a storyline towards the end of the movie with him that kind of really is pointless. But that's what that's one complaint of the movie. But um, but I'm like what the hell? And then there's a fucking incest storyline going on with Beverly and her father. I again, I have not seen this movie, the the, the mini series in a while. Was that fucking in it? I don't remember. But holy fuck, what the hell is up with you, Stephen King, putting like incest storylines in this fucking thing? And like I said, that uh, like the fucking psychopathic bullies that are trying to carve their names into fucking the fat kid uh, and straight up murdering like people. Uh, God, like, um, there's some fucking terrifying imagery in this thing. This movie's like, the imagery, and there's some pretty disturbing imagery in this thing. Um, I'm trying to think what else I want to talk about. Because I don't want to spoil too much about this movie either. Um, if there's any complaints, uh, CGI was sometimes questionable. This movie is mostly CGI, especially with Pennywise and. A lot of, like, the forms of fear that he takes is all pretty much CGI. And sometimes it can be really good. Sometimes it can be... Eh. <laughs> um, but it didn't bother me that much. Uh, there's still some terrifying shit in this thing. Um, especially since this is coming from the guy who made... The director that made M uh, Mama. And I always thought the Mama ghost looked like shit. The CGI in this is a lot better than that. And this is a better movie than fucking Mama, I'll tell you that. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, man, I don't want, I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm forgetting something else to talk about. I, I, I'm sure I'll f remember like as soon as I better than that. Yeah, go fucking see it. It's a damn good movie coming from somebody that didn't care too much for the original miniseries. You should take that uh, as a you know as a grain of salt because I like I like I, said, I really enjoyed um, this and I thought this was a lot better than the miniseries um, and yeah there's gonna be a sequel uh, they kind of like they don't 
you know, like, part of me is like, when I first saw the trailers for this, I'm like, well, is there going to be a sequel to this? Because I know there's a second part to it. Uh, that was basically the second part mini to the miniseries was them as adults. And yes, they pretty much confirmed that it's happening. And this movie's going to make shitloads of money. I saw it at the right time at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. There was like nobody in the theater. That was a perfect time to go see this. Uh, like nobody fucking you know, talking during it or anything. Um... Yeah, go rec- I recommend seeing it. Uh, as far as trailers, I got a few uh, trailers that a lot, pretty much all these trailers I w- uh, are two movies that I'm really looking forward to, for the most part. Uh, the Disaster Artist, man. Other than Star Wars, this is the movie I've been looking forward to the most this December. Is the Disaster Artist? Uh, it's James Franco directing a movie. Of him, James, uh, his brother Dave Franco, and Seth Rogen about the story uh, of the behind the scenes story behind the movie The Room. If you don't know what The Room is, look it up. Uh, this movie is goddamn hilarious. It looks it looks hilarious. Like it looks like it also looks like a pretty kind of sweet little bro-man comedy uh, between uh, the Tommy Wiseau character and uh, what's the the other somebody in the comic Greg what is it Greg something I don't know uh, the guy who wrote the book The Disaster Artist uh, it, it kind of is like kind of a sweet relationship but it like it kind of like like I when I first saw the first teaser for this I'm like it just like the first teaser just seemed like well it's just James Franco try it in a wig and that's all I see but then when you start hearing him doing the voice and seeing like the spatial expressions of like the makeup that's been done to him you're like okay I can see Tommy Wiseau now um and it's it's kind of funny it's really fucking well done uh it looks I, I cannot wait for that fucking movie uh happy death day uh for some reason, I'm one of those people that just love these kinds of films where they're, it's like a Groundhog Day-esque movie where a character has to real a main character has to keep reliving the same day over and over and over again. And this one, it's basically like before I fall, but if the main girl instead of the main girl dying in a car crash she gets murdered and she has to try to figure out who her murderer is and it's her birthday too uh it's basically that's what the plot is and it's like hey, it doesn't look terrible it's pg-13 it's a slasher film i'm like hey cool but it's also pg-13 which kind of sucks but yeah maybe it'll surprise us uh, and it's coming out like the friday the 13th so i mean i'm sure there'll be people seeing that uh yeah Short, very, very short trailer for next week's Mother, um, man, or the movie Mother, uh, which comes out next week. I fucking can't wait. Uh, <laughs> this, this trailer was awesome because it was just showing very snippets, very small snippets of the fucking movie, still having no idea what the fuck is this movie is about. And there's a voiceover that says, In one week, in this movie theater. You were about to witness a movie that will mess you up for life. And I'm like, well, first off, one, I've seen a lot of movies that have been, you know, considered fucked up. I highly doubt this will be in my top ten, but goddamn, like, it, is, like, it makes me kind of hyped. To see. But seeing the reviews this, this movie's getting, I'm kind of excited to see it because there's, it seems like there's just a wide spectrum of people and their opinion on this movie because there are people that love it and there are people that hate it. There's no middle ground. And that seems like to always be the same thing that that usually seems to be Arnofsky's, uh, Darren Arnofsky's like uh, reactions or the reaction that people have to his movies. So I'm really looking forward to this. It, I, I want to know what the fuck is going on first off. It, it, it's got me intrigued. Um, like I said, I love Arnofsky, and like I said, it, like you will never forget the time you saw Mother. That's what it says at the end. I was like, that was kind of cool. I like that kind of trailer. It was like kind of cheesy, but it was really cool. Uh, and the last trailer I got was Jigsaw. Uh, part of me goes, yeah, this is probably gonna suck, but you know what? I 
am a huge fan of the Saw franchise. I always have been. And I have been fucking wanting a new Saw movie for t- seven fucking years. I am not satisfied with the con- supposed conclusion that we got in uh, episode, or Saw 7, Saw 3D, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, the final chapter. I been wanting a fucking another Saw sequel to kind of kind of give us a lot it just it left us with more answers than fucking questions or more questions than answers and it's like you can't end it with that it's like you have to kind of continue and like I'm glad they're doing it part of me is like you know it's probably gonna suck I was like yeah I know but god damn it I it's it's a new Saw movie coming around right right around uh Halloween. Ironically, I'll be going out of town that Friday if I try to go to pre-screen Thursday because I don't want to fucking miss. I want to go see the new Saw movie. Have, it's like tradition. I mean, either that or I'll see it on Halloween. I get back on Halloween uh, before Halloween, so I might get a chance to sneak in and go see it before then. Um, but yeah, <laughs> cannot fucking wait. Son Jigsaw, man. Woo! I'm interested what the fuck... Who's... Like, is Dr. Gordon gonna be in it? Come on, they have to have... After that fucking ending of Seven, they have to have Dr. Gordon in it. Is Jigsaw gonna be back from the dead? I'm half expecting that to happen at this point. Uh, Because Toba Bell is in this. (laughs) I don't know how, but it's like, you know, like, he's dead... The movie is dead for ten years. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, so... Jigsaw. I don't get to see it for free now, so cool. If it sucks, I get to see it for free. So, there's that. So, that's as far as trailers go. Uh, I'll be back. If not, if I don't see Home again um, later this week, I will see Mother next week. (laughs) That is coming one way or another. Uh, I will be seeing that next week. I cannot wait. Uh, So, until then, I'll talk to you guys later.